Good morning, honey. Good morning. Yeah. Are you going somewhere? Yep. Just I'm going to stop by the office to check on a few things. I want to make sure those projects are going as planned. All right. Well, how about if I meet you afterwards at the Jefferson Hotel and we'll look for some French cuisine? I'd love to, but I'm flying out to Salt Lake City for a meeting. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I have my eye on a piece of property. I want to see it in person before I put it up there. What am I supposed to do in this big old house by myself? Well, apologies. The trip completely slipped my mind. Hmm. I've been so focused on trying to get the DC division out there. Hmm. Well, I can meet you or go with you and go skiing afterwards. Oh, man, that really sounds nice. But I'm only going to be out there for a day. Hmm. Okay. I promise I'll do something special for you. Yeah. Hello, Barry. <laughs> what are you doing here? Surprise. What are you doing here? You don't look too happy to see me. Well, I'm not happy to see you. <laughs> Last time I saw you up under another man. Oh no, you were casting for air on the, on the floor. That's the last time I saw you. <laughs> right, it's funny, right? Well, oh, my phone's still off, so I couldn't call you. So I figured I'd just drop nobody's by. Nobody's asking you to call me. And nobody's asking you to drop by either. You obviously don't know me too well, Bear. Don't care to know you any further. You put your fucking hands on me. Put your hands on me now, Baron. Yeah. Your life isn't so private now, is it? Look at me. Oh, what, you're gonna touch me? Look at me. Go ahead, touch me. Look at me. Is your wife home? I think it's time we have a proper introduction. <laughs> my wife is my concern. Oh, is she? Look at me. <laughs> Look. Seeing you with another man took me someplace I didn't want to be. I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of that. It also made me realize how much I care for you. So. I've got a trip today. I want to get back to Salt Lake City. We'll spend some time together. I'll take you to that place you want to go. We'll reconnect. Very much the same shit all the time. <laughs> this is different. I, I, I'm serious. I can't. It's been. I've been a mess since I have. So, why don't you get in the car? I'll be in contact with him in a couple of days. The car notes due in two weeks. I'll let my people take care of it. Julian. Julian. What do you want, Chadwick? I have somewhere to be. Right, you have unopened envelopes that need your immediate presence. But before you go, have you seen my sister? No, I haven't. I'm not a keeper. What is this? I need these figures locked and ASAP. Get Chloe or Ian to do this. I'm on my way down right now. I'm not asked you. I'm giving you orders and I expect them to be done. Here, find someone else. Should I call Cat and tell her you're not being a team player? What's so funny? <laughs> you. I know what this is really about. It's quite pathetic if you ask me. Be pathetic. Don't flatter yourself. What we had would never. I regret it, but it's fiber in my body. Good. Because that makes two of us. Jordan, you're the lamest fuck in my life. I didn't want you. You forced yourself onto me. Well, sex was actually awful. You know, I had a better chance. Probably a dry lock. Excuse me? You heard me. You know, keep 
telling yourself that I didn't want you and you're gonna go to sleep better at night. You lost your damn mind? I wasn't done. I am. Thank you and Uncle Baron for giving me the opportunity to work on your tutelage. However, I cannot continue to work in a division where I feel underutilized and undervalued. The blatant favoritism shown toward Alora by Yoon Jibril has stifled my creativity and ambition. These actions have established an unpleasant working environment in which I no longer want to be a part of. I have also had the misfortune of witnessing your junior executive, Julian, and so I'll call the assistant Chloe. After work, I was having sex on company property. The unprofessionalism demonstrated by these two was that absolutely deplorable. And after careful thought and consideration, I have decided to resign from a position at Davenport Industries effective immediately. My brother was not a determining factor in this decision. In fact, I have not even spoken to him regarding this matter. I wish you and the team the best of luck in the future. Sincerely, Chastity Davenport Quinn. Cat, it's me, Jordan. We need to talk. I have something very important to talk to you about. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. Is it a good morning? Are you okay? Is there anything I can help you with? Help me? The way you help yourself onto my man, you slut? <sighs> no. There's something you can help me with. Matter of fact, can you get ready for these meetings? Looks nice. Shit! The view looks nice. Too bad it doesn't belong to you. Have you seen my sister? Your sister? Don't you guys have some sort of twin telepathy or something? Uh, Moonlight as a comedian. Yeah, another vocation you absolutely suck at. You just love to torment people, don't you? You probably know exactly where your sister is. Bye. Hey, I'm Tess. It's Chad. I need your help. Yeah. Chastity's gone MIA and I don't have her by my side, so I need you. Thank you. <laughs> I can always count on you. Okay. I'm hearing good things about the division, Uncle. I'm glad that you and Chastity have become acclimated to the pace of doing business at that. Where is your sister? That is a question of the hour. I'm currently looking for her now and she um, We have a meeting in an hour. I hope this is becoming a habit with her. No, she um uh, No, it's, it's fine, uncle. It's something you want to discuss. Actually there is. 
I've made provision for you and Chastity to move into the Davenport estate. Wow, that's quite unexpected. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you, Chastity, and Julie. Julie. Whatever for. Uncle, he's not even related to us. He doesn't even have the Davenport last name. Why is he moving into the Davenport? It's my decision. It's no concern of yours. You'd be better off focusing on landing that big account you told me about. Right? Of course. Don't answer me back. Just do it. I will. Stop all your bitching and whining. Don't make me regret giving you more time to close that deal. Bitching and whining. Let me explain something to you. You'll explain nothing to me. You'll do as you're told. Uh, guys, everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Julie, good to see you. You too, sir. I have some news. I've made arrangements for you to move into the Davenport estate. I, I cannot, thank you. I cannot overstep my boundaries. No, no. I want to recognize the contribution you've made to the division. Are you sure I'm just doing my I work? I won't I... take no for an answer. All right. Thank you so much, sir. I will not let you down. Keep up the good work, Julian. Yes, sir. I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Chadwick, have a great meeting. Keep it up. Chadwick. Is everything okay? You seem a little rushed there. No. Uncle Bear just invited Julian to move into the Davenport estate to live. That's great. Right? Have you seen my sister? No, I haven't seen your Thank sister. You. Hey, Julian. How are you today? I'm doing well, Chloe. Just finishing up some research before I have to do my presentation later. So that's the big meeting everybody has been talking around here today. Yes, I was actually able to create a new strategy to help attract new clients internationally. You're a smart guy. You're also very handsome and sexy. It explains what you were able to secure that new deal with a new client. <laughs> Chloe, we're at work. We decided to be extremely private. How do you know about that? I know a lot more about what happens around here than you think. Is that so? Mm -hmm. I also know that Baron invited you to live at the Davenport Estate. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. You know, it actually shows that all the hard work that I've been putting in is actually worth it. <laughs> yes. We've all noticed. And even Kat has recognized you're such a hard worker. You really deserve it. Really? That's great. But seriously, Aaron moving me into the state is the least he can do for what he did to my father. Wait. What did he do to your dad? <clears throat> uh, long story. It actually doesn't really matter. I'll tell you some other time. Okay. Chloe, can you leave? I need to talk to Mr. Maxwell. Sure. He's all yours. I like this formality. Let's keep it that way. You smog son of a bitch. I could barely stomach you, let alone your name. <laughs> if this is a reprieve from earlier, uh, you're wasting your time. Like I said before, I meant nothing. You repulse me. Soak it up, because your days here are numbered. I doubt that. I'm an asset to this company. Enjoy, because once you- Listen, Jordan, stop while you're ahead, okay? Because if you don't, you'll regret it. No, you will. You know what? Get out of my face. Mr. Davidson, so good to see you again. 
Just text that back and forth. It's great to see you too. I was just on my way up to meet with Chad and Chastity. Well, that's why I'm here. I'll be joining you. Oh, really? No surprise. I hope you don't mind, but I do know my way around the, uh, the uh, boardroom. And, uh, can I ask why? Oh, Baron wants me to help out in the office any way that I can, and I just didn't want to let you slip through my fingers. And he does trust my judgment. And, uh, what is your judgment telling you right now? That you'd be a fool to walk away from such a good thing. The offer? You're talking about that, right? Of course. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to track down Chastity. Roland, I have to apologize for... <sighs> Relax, Chadwick. Do you have this under control? Let's begin the presentation. I can't possibly thank you enough. Roland, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Your ideas are solid and forecast the revenue was very promising. You were thorough and um, your analytics were on point. Definitely happy to be on board. Performance was brilliant. Reminds me of your uncle in his younger days. I will be sure to tell him all about it. Mm. Thank you, Antas. If it weren't for you, Roland probably would have rescheduled. Can't lie. You might be right about that, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need your aunt beautiful and smart. She's a class act. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Tessa, would you be interested in joining me for a toast in our new venture? Yes, a celebration is definitely in order. Well, Roland and I do have a few loose ends we need to tie up. Oh, I wouldn't pose. You know, your aunt has been doing this since you were in diapers. I got this. All right. Uh -huh. Shall we? Absolutely. We'll see you later, Chadwick. Talk to you soon. I didn't think you'd be in here. Why wouldn't I? May I remind you that I'm Kat's executive assistant? I should be asking you what you're doing in here. I was instructed to retrieve some reports that she needed for a meeting and I took a few pens as well. Do you need help with anything? For starters, you should refrain from helping yourself to supplies and men that don't belong to you. What are you talking about? <sighs> what are you insinuating? It would be in your best interest to open your eyes and keep your legs closed if you want to be taken seriously. Did someone say something about me to you? Just remember what I said. You have no right to speak to me this way. If you excuse me, I have a lot of emails to take care of. So what can you tell me about the property on six? All right. Julian. What did you tell Jordan? Did you say something about what we did to anyone? 
No, <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would I even answer me? I was just in Kat's office with Jordan and he made some sly comment about me closing my legs and taking him in that doesn't belong to me. Basically insinuating that I'm some kind of whore. No, no. Chill out, Chloe. I would never, ever disrespect you in any way. Okay? I have not told anyone anything about what happens between us. Ever. You know, Jordan's just jealous. Jealous? Of what? I didn't want to say anything to anyone before, but... Jordan's been making sexual advances on me ever since I started here. And I don't know, I've had to turn him down several times, but I guess he's just not getting the hint. Wow. And you guys work together. This must be so awkward for you. And you've been protecting him. Well, no, but it's just, we started and joined this division right around the same time. And there's a lot of pressure on both of us to succeed. I thought I had it under control, but if he's being mean to you, then it's getting out of hand. I want to apologize. I'm sorry for misjudging you, and I am sorry for not trusting you. It's okay, Chloe. I'll handle Jordan. Let's say you come back to my place and I'll cook you up some dinner tonight. Sound good? Sounds good. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Without your suit, and um, it looked great. You definitely look a little different without your dress on. It's definitely more comfortable and sexy to me. Come on, in. come on. I was hoping you didn't forget about me. Forget about you. Just had a few things going on. I wanted to make sure I can give you my complete full attention. Well, that sounds perfect. I see you brought some uh, booze to <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so why don't we go outside and the pool and have a toast? Ciao. Yeah, follow me. So before you enter the room, <clears throat> your mom, I mean Kat. Julian, I told you that in confidence. Do you know that the circumstances surrounding that situation are a matter of life or death? This is not a joke. I'm truly sorry. You have my word. I will not say anything else, okay? But listen, she went ahead and singled me out in front of everyone in the conference room. What did she say? She commended me on bringing in a major client in such a short amount of time. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, Kat is a very astute businesswoman. If she took notice, that means she sees something special in you. I get that, but I don't know. It just put a lot of pressure on me because uh, I was saying, but I did have a major setback that I did not see coming. A setback? Like what? You remember the task that she assigned specifically to Chastity and I? Was it in the sign account? Yes. Chastity went ahead and went behind my back and secured the deal without me knowing. She even met with the board of directors and validated every single piece of work I put in. Wow, that's slow even for her. I don't understand, because we were working on it the whole time. And Kat even reprimanded her for doing the same thing to her lord. She's rude, condescending, and desperate. I hate girls like her. Uh, you want to hang out a little bit more? Maybe we can go and... Jillian, I have to say a few listeners with Kat. She's working on this new deal, Hampton Enterprises. And she says that this could make or break the division, so everything has to be in order. Hampton Enterprises. Is that tied with Donald Hampton? Yes, it's one of his subsidiary ventures of one of his larger ventures. And it's a big deal. Are you familiar with him? Not really. It's just a name I came across in school a few times. He's actually a well-known businessman. He sure is. That's why Kat has been working overtime. And for some reason, she only wants me to work on it from home. So I better get started. Hmm. You know? I actually didn't bring you here just to do all this talking, maybe even talk at all, but wanna go watch the TV?
Rowan, my apologies, but the brown stuff just kills me. So I thought <laughs> we might toast with a little bit of tequila instead. That's quite all right with me. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Take that for me. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, is Baron around? No, actually, he um, left today on a business trip. So, I'm all alone. Maybe you could keep me company. Come sit next to me. Just wanted to make sure I share the good news. Oh my. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. <laughs> Assigned and now delivered. Can I see? Our family will definitely be able to you. Oh my. This is great. Although it's kind of a shame also because now it um, means I might not be seeing you as often. I was hoping otherwise. I found a way that you close a deal to be quite uh, moderate. Well, thank you. Um, you have the pleasure, perhaps, of knowing that my talents extend beyond my marvelous beauty. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, did you say that I was going to let you do? Yes. Here you go. You know, I was about to go for a swim. Would you mind unzipping me? Sure don't. Mm. Where is your uh, swimsuit at? <laughs> I'm not wearing one. Does that bother you? Not at all. You know, maybe we could do a few rounds in the pool. Just you and I. What do you say? You know, spending all those long hours at work, I don't really have any time to clean before I have to leave. I could help you if you'd like. Look, I didn't invite you over here to help me move the box, but you were too sweet. I should have some alone time, because I don't know what it's going to be like when you move to the state. Well, I heard the home was very palatial, so I'm sure you'll be fine. So I meant, not me. Talking to us. Chad and Chastity are so nosy. They're the last people I want in our business. I guess they're right. They have any plans for tonight? I certainly do. Like what? Wait. Am I coming out too strong? No, I enjoyed the kiss a lot. But I have to ask you something. Ask for what? Earlier at work today, you said something about your father and Baron, about Baron knowing your father or something. What is it? No. I've actually never told anyone about this. And it hurts to just even think about it. Julian, I trusted you with my secret. It's time for you to trust me. I guess you're right. My father used to work for Baron many years ago. He was his right hand man. And he would always tell me how he would call me in last second and pull through. But then Baron would go ahead and steal the credit every time. That's not fair. Tell me about it. It's just, it's just, he'd never complain, ever, until one day he was fed up. And he went ahead and asked Baron if they could figure out something. What happened next? Tess, Tess, Tess. You know, they all try to beat you down, but somehow you still have it. No, it's going to take the fun out of your life. Even if it kills you. Right. Baron instantly felt that he was my father trying to double cross him and fired him the next day. What? That's not even the worst of it. 
he blackballed from the industry. So my father couldn't find any work. The only thing he got were these odd jobs, and that was barely enough to get by. But he saved. So I got the best of everything. That's awful. But why work for the man who ruined your father's career? So I can repay him. I'm not gonna let this go undone. I need to get in close. That's the only way I know how. It's okay to be sad. I'm all alone. I have no one. You have me. I do? Yes. I'm falling in love with you. Me too. I wasn't expecting you. I figure since uh, Uncle Darren was going to be away, you'd be alone. I thought maybe you and I could celebrate. <laughs> That's awfully thoughtful of you, Chadwick. Thank you. You know what, though? I'm not drinking anymore. That's all right. It'll be bigger anywhere. What are you doing? Just. I waited a very long Whoa. time for this moment. I am your aunt, remember? Yeah, it's a bad marriage, and it's fine. Can you... No, no, you are my nephew. Oh my god, this is not a line we're gonna cross. Stop. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I didn't know Uncle Baron was such an urban man. You know? See. You don't see anything. You already had a celebration before I even got here, didn't you? What are you talking about? With Roland, perhaps. You know, I didn't believe half the stories until now. You'd be on your knees, on your back, my uncle's clients, just to close a simple deal. I didn't believe it until now. You know what? I need to listen to this from you. You are disgusting and you are completely off. Well, off. So are you, apparently. <sighs> you know what? I think you need to leave. Yeah. Actually, I think you need to get out. Sure. Get out! Make sure you give my uncle my regards and give Roland. Oh, you are giving him enough. Goodbye, Chadwick. Fucking love you anyway. 